This is the test bench for the controllers. Exactly this one uh, was designed for Solo Pico. It is already assembled and we use it uh, quite a lot. However, we have some problems with the uh, mechanical part of that test bench, uh, which is in the handle and the cam position here. So the, the pressure unit is not very stable when we press the and uh, the handle down is not locked well. So sometimes it, 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 it happened that uh, during the testing it was kind of unplugged and um, the controller was disconnected. Also, the pressure should be a bit deeper for uh, touching the test probes here. Here you can see the test probes and how it works here with the controller. So when we press the unit down, it touches by those contacts, these uh, test probes, and uh, stay like fully connected to the internal electronics. So again, the, the test bench consists of the uh, enclosure with the test motor, which is build DC motor we use uh, in many applications here. And the mechanical part with the uh, cam handle, uh, some springs, the pressure unit here. Everything is 3D printed and designed here. Also, it is connected with the USB port, the serial port and the uh, power supply. Switches here. So our today topic is to change the entire mechanical part, the new rails here, the new cam, because the problem was like of disalignment of the axis of the cam handle, pressure unit upper point with the bearing inside, it was it should be kind of aligned in one line. Now it is not aligned, that's why we have here the force which makes this possible to happen. Now we will be different. The uh, handle seems very similar to the previous. However, the axis is supposed to be exactly on the vertical line here. So these are the uh, new uh, parts of the pressure unit. And you can see the, the upper point will be aligned with the axis of the handle. Also, we add air spring, like with the damper inside, which will help to avoid those conditions. And let's see, disassemble this unit and uh, I'll show you what's inside. Also, the 3D model, how we design it and uh, put the new mechanical part on top of it. So this is what inside, uh, the motor is connected directly to the test probes of the motor connection here. These are the connectors of the uh, Solo Pico unit, A, B and C. Those ones are the, the data terminal and uh, the op can open connector here, the encoder or hull sensor connector here. So the data bus is connected to this terminal. And this is uh, the, the connection of the internal electronics. Um, for the linear guide of uh, pressure unit, we used those uh, radial bearings, 606. So the 3D printed part is designed like to have a little play here is like 0 0.35 millimeter, something like that. You need to check with your 3D printer if you decide to uh, mimic that because uh, it depends on the shrinkage of the 3D printer. This is the internal part, uh, which is kind of spacer between those two parts. Yes, those holes are designed for the uh, bolt connection. 
this is the linear guide to mount it here. And the parts of the pressure units must be connected like that, assembled like that. And they're supposed to be here and the bearings like that, here. The uh, air spring is designed to be mounted here. Okay, let's assemble this. So this is the pressure unit already assembled with the bearings here. I cut the rest of the bolts. The air spring also is mounted here. And we need now to assemble also this part. So, the job is done now. I changed the linear guys, the pressure unit, the cam handle. And now we, you can see the difference. It is stable. It locks very good the controller in the, in the position. So the pressure is uniformed on the old plate here. You can compare to the previous unit, which was unstable, self-unlocking. It was quite problematic to test the unit because uh, it was always kind of jump out. Now it's, it's, it's very robust. Also the uh, air spring with the dampers inside makes the, mo the motion not that sharp. Uh, so the damper reduces the speed of pressure unit so so this is how it works from the side we can place the controller on its position it is also locked here. The placement of the controller created by those corners here. Those ones. 
and now when we press the, the controller touch the uh, the contact probes here those ones So this is the, the test bench. Um, I've also designed and developed those, uh, the cover, the safe pod to avoid any dust coming to the contact probes. Uh, some signs here, the labels, GFU label also here. And uh, it works like that. So we put the controller inside, just press the handle and the system starts to check the controller. Here we have all the connections, the USB, the CAN connector here to check it, the power supply, the, the power switch. When the test is done, we release the handle, take out the controller and put a special QR code here that the controller is tested.